Welcome to another video. Text to application or coding assistance are one of the things I really like to cover on this channel. And today, I have something that's quite similar to Ader, Claude Dev, and others. This time it's Devon. Devon is supposed to be an open source pair programmer, just like Ader. It claims that it can generate anything you want with just one prompt. It also has a good-looking web UI, which makes it much more interactive than something like Ader. But you can also use its terminal UI, which is also kind of cool. It works with Anthropic Claude models, as well as OpenAI and Grok models. It also has a local mode, where you can use it with Alama, which should be pretty cool to try out. Looking at its features, it has multi-file editing, code base exploration, config writing, test writing, bug fixing, architecture exploration, as well as local model support. For limitations, it has minimal functionality for non-Python languages, and sometimes you'll need to specify the file where you want the changes to happen. They also mention that local mode isn't great right now, so you might want to avoid using it. As for the UI, in the web UI, it's very similar to Devon, if you remember that. Meanwhile, in the TUI, it's a bit like Ader. So, let's try it out and see if it really works. Now, let's get started. To install it, first, go to this GitHub page. Now, copy this command from here. Next, open up your terminal and paste the command. This will install the first package. Once that's done, Copy the second command and paste it as well, which should get the backend server of Devon installed. After that's finished, copy the third command and paste it in your terminal. This should open up an Electron app where you can see the Devon interface. Here, it will ask you for the project directory you want it to use and the model you want to use. Let's select a blank directory here. Once done, Let's choose the GPT 4.0 model here. Now, let's enter the API key. Okay, once you've done all that, just hit the start button. Now, you can see the interface here. On the left, you can see the sidebar where you don't have too many options because if you click settings or any other menu option, it just shows coming soon. The one option that works is the commit history which shows all the commits it has done so far. You can also go back and forth between the comments, which is pretty cool. Additionally, all the changes it makes are in its own separate branch, meaning that once you're satisfied with its changes, you can merge Devon's branch with the main branch, which is also great for source management. Next, you obviously have the chat interface, where you'll send messages and tasks, and it will keep you updated on what it's doing and what it's not doing. There's also a reset session option, which will reset the chat for you, and a configure session option, where you can change the model you want to use, and other settings, which is pretty neat. After that, you can also see the VS Code-like interface, where you'll see the exact files it's working on and the code it's generating. There's also a terminal interface, where you'll see the terminal commands it's running, which is pretty cool. So, that's basically the interface. Now, let's test it out, and see if it actually works the way we want it to. First, let's ask it to make a simple program to add two numbers using Python, since that's the language it's better optimized for. So, let's do that. Okay, it's working on it and you can see it's creating the files. You can also see the files being generated on the right side. We can pause it in between if we want. Anyway, it's generating the code now, so let's wait for a bit. Okay, it's done, and you can see the code it has generated here. The code looks really good. It has also run the code here, and you can see the output as well. So, it works pretty well and the interface is functioning fine. You can also directly open the folder in VS Code 
through the VS Code icon here, which is also a nice feature. Now, let's try something more complex. Let's ask it to make a to-do app. Okay, it's doing that. You can see the files and code it's generating here, which is also pretty good. It's handling everything, the back end, front end, and everything else, which is pretty cool. We'll need to wait a bit. So, let's wait. All right, it's done. It has created the back end, front end, and everything, which is really cool. It has also installed the necessary packages, which is also awesome. It's now running on port 3000, so let's check it out. Okay, this works pretty well. I mean, it did everything on its own, which is really nice. Anyone can use it, even without much programming knowledge, which is pretty cool to say the least. The application also works fine. So, overall, it works pretty well. If you use it with Claude, it should work even better. That was the web UI, but there's also a terminal UI for it, which we can try out. To do that, just run the pips install devon agent command. Once done, run the npm install devon 2 e command, which will install the terminal interface. Before using it, we'll need to set up the environment variables in our terminal. So, export the API key for Anthropic, Grok, or OpenAI, whichever one you want to use. Once you've done that, we can start using it. As you can see, this is the terminal UI, and it looks pretty good as well. You can send commands for what you want it to do, and it can execute tasks through the terminal UI if you prefer that. In the terminal, you can also use it with local Olama models by configuring it through the Configure option, where you can select the model to use, which is also really cool. So, that's basically what you can do with it. Now, overall, I'd say it's pretty good. However, it's still in its early stages. When I tried something outside of Python, it started crashing due to some issue I couldn't figure out. So, that's one limitation. Overall, it's more of an automated programmer rather than a pair programmer like Ader is. But I like its potential, and it should get even better in the future. Anyway, I'll keep using Ader, but if you're interested, you can try it out and see if it suits your needs. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.